Hi everyone. My name is Janet Gerardo. I'm a German native. I apologize for my poor English because I speak German. I recently had a dream that has repeatedly come to mind. It has just really been on my mind. I just really want to share it with you on this channel, Wise Walk. The dream took place in the evening, when it was dark outside but not completely so due to the full moon. I figured it must be summer because it was warm outside. Everyone was gazing at it since it was so bright that it almost appeared to be another moon. Everyone was outside, but it was such a nice atmosphere. It was quite peaceful and calm. If this was happening in real life and not a dream, seeing a planet the size of the moon so close to Earth would be terrifying. But it wasn't. I felt extremely calm, and it was unbelievably beautiful. I remember thinking, the rapture is occurring, it's finally happening, and feeling such incredible delight that the rapture was finally taking place. Suddenly, without warning, I began to lift off the ground. When the event finally occurred after years of anticipation, waiting, and hearing about it from others, as well as reading about it and other sources, I was overcome with delight and excitement. As I was rising off the earth, I may have reached the trees. Now, I'd want to add that I've learned in my entire life that it will all happen in a flash of an eye. And it would happen so fast that you wouldn't have time to consider at all. In my dream, it wasn't like that, instead, I was rising slowly off the ground. Not incredibly sluggish, but, you know, perhaps comparable to the rate at which a balloon would rise. I went to the treetops since I reside in Dusseldorf on the western side of Dusseldorf, which has a lot of tall trees. They're really tall, so it was about that high above the ground when I looked down and saw my husband and kids. I could see my husband and kids, and I remember gazing at their faces and being concerned for them because they were not rising off the ground. I started falling back down as soon as I focused on them, and that's when I woke up. When I woke up, I lay there thinking about it, and two things immediately came to mind. First and foremost, the Bible states that if you love your mother or father more than I, speaking of Jesus. If you love your mother or father more than me, Jesus said, you are not worthy of me. If you love your daughter or son more than me, you are not worthy of me. This is not to indicate that we should not love our families, but it does mean that Jesus should be number one in our hearts and minds, as the Bible states. Our heart will be where our treasure is, and that should be with Jesus because the Bible says we are not of this world. Consequently, our hearts and treasures ought to be in heaven and with Jesus, but in my dream, my anxiety and concern were for my husband and children, and that was what kept me here. The second thing that jumped out to me was that, similar to how I previously mentioned that I wasn't taken in a flash, I was getting up and lying there contemplating it. The Bible says that when Jesus ascended and all of the disciples were standing there watching him, an angel stood there watching with them and said to them, This Jesus that you are watching ascend into the clouds, he will return to you in the same way that you are watching him ascend, and that as I lay there watching him ascend. Thinking about this dream, I wondered if the rapture would be like Jesus ascending not in the twinkling of an eye, as the Bible claims, but perhaps that is referring to the second coming. Currently, there is discussion of, or perhaps construction has already begun on, reconstructing the temple in Israel. If everything is happening as it appears to be, Jesus' coming is soon. If you don't know Jesus Christ, Consider the possibility that you were once that person, like I was when I was young and very selfish and self-centered, who wanted to live their life for themselves. 
I always imagined myself serving the Lord when I grew up. And I wanted to have fun when I was young, and I feel like a lot of people are probably thinking that when I'm older, I'll serve the Lord then. But the truth is that you might not have that opportunity because even non-religious people are recognizing the signs. So if you are contemplating or pushing it off, it is possible that you are thinking or pushing it off. Keep in mind that you may not have the luxury of waiting till you are older to serve the Lord, because it might be too late for you. Thank you and God bless you for watching this video. Please, help us to push this video to a wider audience by sharing with your friends and families and don't forget to subscribe, if you haven't done so.